Okay. Looks like I'm live. Yeah, this time I'm doing it from the webcam and not from StreamYard. I don't think because I've got to, for StreamYard to remain free, as we all know, we only have X amount of time per month. So I saved the StreamYard use for when I plan to share screens or react to videos or have someone up on screen collabing with me. Uh, none of it, which will be the case tonight. Uh, I haven't gone live or uploaded anything in the past several days. I am late with projects that I keep saying I'm going to have it by Tuesday and I'm going to have it by today over at Patreon. And not a very good start to, to Patreon, I admit, but uh, things have not been going all that well around here. Um, so it's not going to be the happiest go lucky of live streams. Anyways, I want to welcome all new subscribers. I want to thank you all for subscribing. Uh, usually we have more lively discussions. Uh, for those who are new and have not yet subscribed, welcome to Straight Talk and Fedora Chick. We are a story time slash co social commentary channel uh, discussing social issues of the day. It's basically a voice for the marg uh, for society's marginalized, if you will. We talk a lot about mental health issues, but not exclusively. If you're into that kind of thing, please subscribe and hit that useless little bell thing below. Hey, Lily, good to see you. Oh, good. I'm not talking to myself. Yeah. So a lot is a lot of crap has been happening since well before Christmas, since a lot of you know about what's been happening. Some of you have seen some private videos that I have. Uh, hey, Reith, good to see you too. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Oh, good. I have a, a great, I, uh, excellent. I have a moderator here. Great. Because tonight I am not in the mood for any freaking trolls tonight. No, 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 no. So I'm glad a moderator is here. And Wraith is great at this sort of thing. Wraith, you're great. You're great. You know, sometimes, you know, I come on and do these live streams, you know, when things are not going so, or I've got too much happening at once to the point where I can't process everything. Sometimes talking with you all helps, uh, um, so sometimes, um, uh, Lily, uh, I'll, mm, uh, let me get what I have to say out of the way first, uh, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I do have a certain criteria for a mod. It's, it's loose, but it, it's loose. It's rather loose, but anyways, um, it's rather loose, but at the same time, I do have certain criteria. Yes. But, um, look, I, I am having trouble losing my train of thought a lot lately. So let me get to that later, if that's okay with you. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, wow. <laughs> um, where to start, where to start. <laughs> um, now many of you know, like I, um, there was a huge falling out with somebody that was close to me that I am still reeling from. And it's not just a loss of that person. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ray Phoenix. Thank you. So, you know, that I, you know, that I was still smarting from, and it was the ultimate betrayal of trust. I have a, a video, a short video that I did warning people about Interaki transfer in the case of Americans. Uh, my American audience, it's what um, email wire trans uh, wire transfer. Anyways, uh, that link to that video. Yeah, no problem, Lily. Um, so anyways, the link to that video is in a pinned comment below if you want more on that, because I'm not going to really get into the whole uh, fraud scheme, except to say that this the mess is still being cleaned up. And like I had to send and I, I had the wonderful expense of having to pay a tech to scan and go through my computer for keylogger software as my bank had suggested to do. It's like everybody or every expert I talk to, they have something new to do, you do this, another precaution. And it's like, now it's getting to the point where 
Uh, hey, Kay, I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. But anyways, it's gotten to a point. It's so stressful, you know. It's always more expenses. Did you change your email passwords? Did you change your online bank account passwords? Yes, yes, yes. Did you talk to the police? Yes, I did. Cops don't want to do anything because nothing was lost. The scam failed. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kim, good to see you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Kim, yeah, great to see you, Kim. Oh, boy. So it's getting to the point, like, it, it's always more advanced and more and more, and it's getting overwhelming. And it's like, it's all of a sudden the onus is on me, you know? I mean, someone attempted to defraud me, someone I knew very well, somebody I used to trust with my life. Somebody I had the best times with uh, since 2016, the happiest times with, and the ultimate betrayal of trust. So now, I know, and here's the ironic thing. Here's the irony. You know, this guy in the past would have been my go-to, my first go-to person after such a scam happened to me. Uh, you know, that happened to me. He would have been my first go-to person. He would have known how to calm me down and all that or talk me down from an anxiety attack. Oddly enough, he's the one who uh, who tried to scam me. <laughs> so it's like I'm all alone in this, you know. So I talked to other experts, like I said. I talked to the bank, talked to, law, talked to the local police. And now it's gotten to the point where they're saying, why don't you throw your computer out? Just go out and get a new computer. Go out and get a new Easier said than done. I don't have the money for that, you know. I'm trying to get a new video, I'm trying to get some enough money for a new video editor, but Christ, you know, expenses come up, you know, to, to have a tech take a look at my computer, you know, whether it's for Keylogger or whatever, you know. No, you're right, Kim, that's exactly what I'm going through, you know. And you know what the effed up thing about the, all this is? Do you, I miss him terribly. That is the effed up thing. If he were to reach out to me, no, I wouldn't forgive him. I can't trust him again. But I do. But I wish to, if there was one wish I had before he ghosted me was the opportunity to face him face to face. Now, he must know that I realize what he what he had done was deliberate. You know what he had done was deliberate, but he's not even trying to clear his name or anything like that, it, even if to clear their name. Right. And that's not happening. So it's like every time there's a new expense and the the first expense I want, you know, is a new video editor so I can do my voiceover uploads with all my nice visuals that a lot of my older uploads are, you know, and I can't and I get this, you know. <laughs> it is a stab in the heart, Leap Kim. Believe me, I'm feeling it. And in all honesty, it hurts a lot worse than the physical or SEX abuse that I suffered all these years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Kate. I am so sorry to hear that. It is in this case, Wraith. It is like a bad breakup. It, it, it is. It feels like it, you know. Um, he and I were not a couple. I don't know how we would have been labeled, really. Best friends, I don't know. But anyways, that's neither here nor there, and I'm not going to elaborate further on that right now. The point is, you know, it hurts worse. And this is the kind of harm, you know, um, you know, and then so when, while I'm getting scared, you know, it's like, do this, do that. you got to spend money on this. And now I'm being told, throw the computer out, scrap the computer, use your laptop. Except my laptop is so ancient. It still has Windows 7. And as much as I am loath to use Windows 10, I hate Windows 10. I despise Windows 10. Um, I was looking to see if I can get Windows 10 on the new laptop because, as you know, as of last month, uh, Windows 7 is no longer being supported. So the problem is now I, this computer that I have, the laptop, it is so old, um, Windows 10 is not even, would not even be compatible with the laptop. It's a 2007 Lenovo um, and, uh, well, it's a great computer and it's been a great backup computer. Um, I can't put windows 10 on it, even if I, you know, even if I wanted to, <laughs> you know, Oh, Kim, thank you. Uh, thank you. Well, you get some sleep. Yes, you get some sleep. And so you don't, 
Yeah. Good night, Kim. Yeah. So anyways, it's like, <laughs> where was I? Yeah, I'm getting to that. Uh, my FTD, I've got a lovely fun update with my frontotemporal dementia, and it ain't good news on that front either. Um, it ain't such good news on that front either for me. But anyways, yeah. When I went through a breakup and a huge fallout of friends, it felt like it was a devastated experience. I felt my world fell apart. I eventually learned that having bitterness isn't going to help. Yeah, but Lily, I can, you know, I, I feelings can't be controlled. And I think feelings need to be validated, you know. And you know what? When something happens to you, one has every right in the world to be bitter. And it should be validated, not condemned. Sorry. We're living in a society nowadays where everything's got to be happy, happy, joy, joy, like that silly little song from Ren and Stimpy. Uh, and, you know, like I said, I, I've been working on that future live stream, actually, the positivity of negativity. And I'm going to have articles because there are articles and there have been studies uh, to support my to back this argument. Uh, but that, again, is going to be at a later time, you know. Oh, thank you, Kate. Thank you. You know, it's like, you know, you say, oh, why are you so bitter? It's like you're a bad person. It might as well be told, well, why did you steal money out of my purse? Or why did you, why did you slap your grandma? You know, it's, it's synonymous with that, you know? Uh, I, I guess I'm sick and tired of good people netting, never getting justice. I know I don't get justice and I'm seeking justice now for what happened to me. I don't know. I don't know why. Half of me doesn't know why because I never had justice for the other, other crap that's happened. You know, justice with the law in the legal sense, uh, or in the ethical sense with uh, other professionals. You know. Thank you, Wraith. Thank you, Ray Phoenix. Get the negative out of your system so you can function. Yeah, trying to, Ray Phoenix. I'm trying to. But, you know, many of you here in my live chat, many of you here in the chat, I think you can all agree with me. This is all easier said than done, right? Um, much easier said than done. So it's like right now, it's like I want justice. And I also fear that because he knows, okay, back to this scam thing, because he knows I'm not rich, I'm on a fixed income. And, you know, that I'm pretty broke and I'm in debt. You know, I got a huge, a humongous amount of credit card debt, you know. And it's like the vicious circle of finances that I think he was testing me for a larger target. And I, I mean, that's my theory. And that is the theory of other people I've spoken with. But I think he is seeking a target with deeper pockets. And that is my fear, too, because law enforcement doesn't want to do anything because there's nothing apparently in the criminal code for an attempted fraud. Uh, and because this, there was no money lost because the scam failed. Yeah, I should be thankful no money got lost and I am, but what is there to deter anyone? You know, it's like this, you know, it's like the old adage, I suppose with criminal activities, it's the same thing. You know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, <laughs> you know, and that's the kind of thing I fear, you know. Look, I've not, I haven't always been an angel, and I've mentioned on this channel, you know, I, too, have had my run-ins with the law. I had a record, which I got pardoned for, which I did get a pardon for because I wanted that passed out of my life, you know. And plus, without that pardon, I never would have been able to become a public servant for my province, you know, for my province's Department of Health and Social Services, but, you know, you know, this all to say, you know, it's like, I believe in second chances. I love a good redemption story. This isn't it. You know, in this case, this ain't it. And like I said, you know, it's like, yeah, my husband. Yep. That's why I'm being thankful for Mortal Kombat. Ah, uh, yes. That's a video game, right, Ray Phoenix? Sorry, I'm old and not cool and therefore not in tune with video games. Kate, yeah, my husband has been threatening me with jail because my court date is at the end of this month. Then he's texting me saying that he loves me, wants me back, yet he's saying all over Facebook vicious things. Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Kate. Lily, eventually I learned to let them all go, and it encouraged me to be more positive as they were negative. It encouraged me to be a different person for a time. Yeah, that can work for some people, Lily. It doesn't work for all, you know. And when you get to be my age, 
in my situation, in the situation that I'm in with them, you know, um, life gets to be a little more scary. You know what I mean? Which is bull. He should be charged for these horrible actions. And I've been trying, Ray Phoenix. I've been trying. It's the damn Canadian criminal code, you know. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's anything on the American on the American side, if you can charge somebody with an attempt like this, but not in Canada. Um, I want to be better than them. <sighs> this is the thing. I want to be better than them. <sighs> I struggle with that because I feel that's just another meme that is passed around uh, that I have to ask, stop and ask, what the hell does, what does that mean? You know, Lily, I see what you're trying to say, but... It's one of those things, you know, as I age and as the FTD advances, I ask a lot of questions, you know, call it a version of a midlife crisis, if you will. But I ask, like, what does that mean? It's the same thing, you know, when a politicians, you know, they're all doing their election campaign, like just every last election campaign in the provinces or in Canada. It's the economy, stupid, but the economy, the economy, the economy. But does anyone ever stop? What the hell does that even mean? What does it mean? You know, and, and you know, and bumper sticker slogans work, you know, marketing experts. So that's why it's used. So I feel also in social media, like in the world of pop psychology, pop culture, you know, I got to stop, you know, in the world that we live by memes, you know, memes and memes can be fun. And memes can be very, um, what's the word am I looking for? Uh, I can't find my words and I'm getting a headache just trying to think about it. But you know what I mean? It's just, it's got to stop and ask, what does it mean? Like the slogan, make America great again. What does it mean? Okay, I don't live in the United States. I can't vote in the United States. But I think you know what I mean, you know, when we're living in a world of memes and bumper st sticker slogans, you know. Um, yeah, you know, Wraith, I totally feel like a negative rain cloud is over me. I am really sorry, Kate. Kate, I am with you 100%. It's a total betrayal of trust. I know the situations are different, but the betrayal is there. Absolutely, Kate. And that's to say, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not turning this. I'm the last thing I want to do is turn this into a contest as to who is uh, worse off. Both of us, you know. Both of us need vindication, you know, okay? I think if there's one thing we have in common, we both need to be vindicated. You know, we both deserve justice, you know? We both deserve to be justice. Neither one of us is perfect. We both made mistakes. But did we deserve what happened to us? No, we don't. We didn't, you know? And I think that might, you know, that might be a good subject to talk more in depth about in a future video, right? That is awful and twisted. Screw that guy. Yeah, I'm taking the steps, Wraith. Yeah. Memes can be a persuasive tool. Hi, Zynga1029. Yes, you're absolutely right. And that's, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right, uh, Zynga1029. Memes can be a persuasive tool. You know, uh, memes, bumper slogans, they can all be persuasive tools. Absolutely. That's why they're used in marketing, you know. That's why they're used in social media. No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant I totally feel your feeling and you're not alone. Oh, thank you, Kate. And you're not alone either. You know, if you and I want, if you want to chat with me later in private on Discord, uh, I'd be happy to do so. Uh, I'd be happy to listen to you, you know, because I think we all need, you know, we, often in these situations we feel alone, right? And it's scary, you know. So that's one aspect that's been going on, you know. That's one aspect in my life that's been going on. And next, as you saw in the center, the star in the center of my thumbnail, moving on to that. But before we do, I for those who have not joined our Discord server, I'm going to Discord put server. it. I'm going to put it in the chat now. Um, if you have not joined our Discord server and you meet some awesome people like Ray Phoenix and like Kate and Lily. Uh, like Kate and Lily, um, place where nobody judges you. You can vent, or you can just uh, you can just shoot the breeze, or have some fun, share your artwork. Here we go. Okay, so join our Discord server if you haven't already. Yeah, there we go. 
And now for the obnoxious e-begging portion of the show. Yeah, I got to yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, if you wish to support the channel, I know it's probably not the ideal video to make such a request. Uh, but if you wish to support the channel, I have both a Patreon and I'm going to have a new Patreon upload any day now. And you may do so also through PayPal. And I want to give a shout out, take this opportunity to give a shout out to my patrons, uh, Journey to Find K, S, and uh kim who was kim uh, who was in here earlier actually uh kim who was in here earlier i want to thank them you uh, i want to thank them for becoming patrons okay now that that's out of the way yeah now back to the center star and the centerpiece of all that text on my thumbnail i have a new unwanted pet and i'm waiting to hear from the spca but i don't know what they'll do for me because we're not talking about a stray cat or a dog or an animal that's usually domesticated. I've got a freaking squirrel who is more than likely pregnant and probably rabid just by the way it behaved when I knocked on the window. Because when I knocked on the window, usually when animals come and hang around the window, I knock on the window and they scurry away like the squirrels. They scurry away quickly, right? Or you approach a squirrel, it'll scurry away. Well, no, this one thought it was going to jump through the glass at me. That's how it behaved, you know. It thought it was going to, like, jump through the glass at me. So it built a nest. I don't know how it found the trash that it did, but it got a lot of trash, and I would find it shredding shredding the trash. And now it's, like, made a nest for itself in the window. Oh, God. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, Lily, it's okay. Lily, it's okay. So, Yeah. <laughs> I've got this, uh, this squirrel in my windows, it, it, you know, it's between the panes. So it cannot come into my kitchen. It cannot, but still it was kind of scary when that thing was like, you know, when I would knock on the window and get it to go away. Uh, no, it was like, and then it went back in between the panes, went back to its nest, you know, shredding its stuff. So now it's in a nest curled up in a ball uh, curled up in a ball, and I have a feeling that thing is pregnant as well as rabid. So, the <laughs> wow, this is great. <laughs> I think it is preggers too, Kate. I, I, I really do. I think it is preggers. So now it's like I have an unwanted pet. And uh, like I said, I left word with the SPCA. Have you had a squirrel inside the house? It's scary since it will run everywhere. No, mercifully, Lily, I've never had a squirrel inside the house. No, I have never had a squirrel inside the house. <laughs> Trust me. And if a squirrel was hanging well, now, right now with my kitchen, even if it were summertime or springtime, I can't open that window. I cannot open that window now. Uh, or if it get, we get a mile, even during the rest of winter, we have a mile. I can't open that window now because it's going to come in. And uh, the way the kitchen window is placed, it's right above the kitchen sink, you know, where I wash dishes. <laughs> so I definitely don't want a rabid pregnant squirrel in my sink, you know? Uh, yeah, she moves. Yeah, she does. She is breathing. She moves. She's curled up in a ball. And sometimes you see her scratching at the stuff or, uh, that she made a nest out of. It, it looks like a nest. And it's scratching. And I, hey, fluffy unicorn girl, good to see you. Good to see you, fluffy. I'm glad you stopped by. Hello, everyone. Squirrels will act like that when they're pregnant, and so it's probably like that because it's going to have babies. Yeah, and I dread that. You know, that squirrel is going to have babies. And like I said, I'm also convinced that this squirrel is rabid. So, yeah, I did call the SPCA in my in, in Montreal. I, I left word with the SPCA. I have to wait for somebody to get back to me uh, about that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what they can do because a squirrel is not a typical house pet like a dog or a cat, you know. And a squirrel would fall because squirrels are part of the Redentia family. That may fall even fall under the heading of pest control. I don't know, but. <laughs> But it's like it may fall under the heading of pest control. I don't know. This is all new to me. I've never had a pet squirrel. Uh, I've never had a pet squirrel, let alone a pet pregnant squirrel. Oh, man. Yeah, I hope they come out and help you get it replaced somewhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> you need to call your fish and wildlife office in your area. Uh, they come and get it. SPCA won't do anything for it. Uh, yeah, I have to figure out what the equivalent of pest control is. We, I'm in a large urban center. I'm in a city of 2 million people. So we don't have a wildlife and fisheries thing in Montreal. We don't have that here. Um, if I lived in a rural area, that might be different. But uh, I live in a big city of 2 million. <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm going to have to look up pest control or something. And here's another thing. I don't want to go through the, I mean, does it need it? Do I need to pay an exterminator? The thing is outside, like just between the, the, the panes of the window. They're not physically inside my apartment. They, it's not physically inside my apartment. But am I going to have to pay hundreds of dollars for an exterminator now? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Fun fact. Bon Ross. Bon Ross has a pet squirrel. Bob Ross, a painter. Yes, I remember, Lily. Yeah, I remember. Oh, Kate, my landlord's out of town. <laughs> my landlord is out of town. <laughs> you know how I know this? Because usually he's quick with changing my rent check. This time, not so quick. When he And uh, usually when he's not so quick to change the rent, the rent check, uh, that means he's out of town. But yeah, Bob Ross, I remember Bob Ross had a pet squirrel, but I think this one, in addition to being pregnant, is also rabid. Okay, I think it's also rabid. Try and bill your landlord for it because it's his property. Of course, Kate. No, you won't need to pay for an exterminator because it hasn't invaded your home. I gotta go, body hates. Oh, I'm sorry, Ray Phoenix. Oh, I'm sorry. Get some rest, Ray Phoenix, and thank you for stopping by. Uh, Fluffy is here. I have another, uh, thank you. Good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Why did you retract your message? Okay. Did I say the wrong thing? Did I just say the wrong thing? I've been doing a lot of that lately. That's another thing that's been going on lately. I've been saying the wrong thing. Uh, Wraith, if I said something wrong, I'm sorry. And I'll talk to you about it later on Discord. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Wraith. Oh, thank you. Okay. Sorry. You get some rest, Wraith Phoenix, and I want to thank you for everything you do. Everybody, uh, yeah, uh, Ray Phoenix is, uh, Ray Phoenix has been very instrumental, very instrumental. So uh, we, uh, she, uh, she, she goes very well appreciated here. Okay, yeah, Ray, I'm so sorry. You, you, uh, oh, your phone broke apart, huh? Yeah, your phone broke apart. Oh, gosh. Yeah, technology. And don't remind me. Mercury is going into retrograde soon. Again, uh, Mercury is going into retrograde. So that's going to prove to be fun for those. Okay, not everybody subscribes to astrology. Um, but for me and my personal experience, it is applicable whenever Mercury goes into retrograde. Usually it means for a lot of people. And I don't know, maybe you've observed it in your lives, even if you don't pay attention to astrology. Um, when Mercury goes into retrograde, it's usually when technology goes haywire. Okay, things happen with technology, or there's a lot of misunderstandings, miscommunication with people either at work or in your normal everyday life. I don't know. Indicate a one in the chat if you've experienced that at certain times of the year. Uh, the last time it was in retrograde, say late October, early November, if you remember, and you might have experienced even a, either more tech issues than usual or miscommunications and stuff. Put a one in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there. Okay. If you need to talk, you can message me on Discord or Hangouts, whichever you find. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You too, Fluffy, huh? You went through it? Yeah, if anybody, just put a one. Uh, that was a, uh, around late October. I don't remember the exact dates, but late October, early November, that was the last time uh, Mercury, excuse me, 
Mercury was in retrograde. Just give me, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that's what happened. Anyways, I believe this year Mercury is going into retrograde on February 17th, but I'll have to look that up. Uh, yeah, so the, yeah, something else to look forward to, you know. And, you know, here's another thing. Like, my anxiety levels are so bad that tonight, and I was discussing it on Discord, I couldn't even figure out what to do for dinner. I hadn't eaten all day. I do know that my blood sugar was crashing. And that leads to more anxiety and confusion. So it doesn't help, you know, when I do that, don't eat, you know. So <laughs> when I don't eat, you know, yeah, I know I'm overweight, but I'm I'm supposed to eat something at regular. But I didn't eat all day and I shouldn't have done that. And there I was, I was hungry for supper and I was debating, like, do I go out in this and risk going to a restaurant? And I hate going to restaurants by myself. I really do because I tend to get gawked at. Or order out. But the problem is everything is done. When you order from a restaurant these days in Montreal, pretty much all of them are operating through these third-party services like Skip the Dishes or Uber Eats or DoorDash. And, of course, you got to pay the extra services, delivery fees and all that. And there's a markup. And, you know, and it's like, oh, God, what do I do? I ended up ordering in. I didn't feel like going out. I, I can't go out. And it's too cold. It's like minus 15 with the wind chill factor, uh, minus 15 centigrade. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, you know. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know. So, you know, something like that has been causing no shortage of anxiety. You know, what do I have for dinner? How do I do dinner, you know? And as far as cooking, and it's like I can't really afford either one, and I've got to find a better solution. But what's been happening, and I have mentioned this before with the FTD, okay, that what was happening is I would almost set my freaking kitchen on my freaking kitchen on fire, and I hate that, you know, and um, cooking stovetop, cooking stovetop. And until they find a stove that has automatic shut off, like you can put a timer, like the oven or the microwave, you know, something with an auto, you know, with, a, with an auto shut, shut off, uh, I cannot cook stovetop anymore because I tend to forget pots on the stove and so you, either the food gets burnt or I leave an empty pot on the stove and the damn thing burns. I can't tell you how many skillets and pans I have scrapped in recent months. You know, and that has been absolutely, you know, I can't tell you how many have been scrapped in recent months. And, you know, it's, hang on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second. I'm just asking for your patience, please. Yeah. So, anyways, um, where am, where was I? Yeah. Where was I? Oh. Yeah. So, anyways, as I was saying, so food is becoming a problem. Cooking is becoming a problem. And realistically, I can't bake everything, you know. I mean, yes, the oven has an automatic shutoff, so it's relatively safe for me to cook alone. And since I'm alone and pretty much all alone in the world in my immediate environment, um, I don't have someone to come here and provide the adult supervision I need to cook stovetop, you know. More than I can count, Fluffy. More than I can count. More than I can count. Uh, seriously. <sighs> And I can't afford to keep replacing them. You know, I cannot afford to keep replacing them. And this is becoming, you know, and I'm trying to live. I mean, in an ideal world, I would like to have a part. I would like to have a, a mate. I would like to have a partner. But that is never going to happen. <laughs> I had to ex swallow that bitter pill that that was never going to happen. So it's like trying to live on my own. And because I don't want to end up in a provincial run nursing home in, a Quebec, in the province of Quebec. Okay, sorry, I'd rather be in city lockup. Okay, it, it, those nursing homes are the fourth circle of hell. And I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. I'm just asking, I know I'm asking a lot. Trust a stranger on the internet who's uh, ranting and venting into a camera, right? 
Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> it's becoming a lot of fun. It's becoming a load, a lot of fun. Thank you, Fluffy. And the other thing I've been going through, it's like I've been building my community and I've been building my community, you know, by making friends through other people in other communities. Like right now, most of my new subs I have met from Negs over at Negative Reactions or at uh, Lisa. Well, Lisa, I met Lisa's channel, Lisa and her channel I came across also by following Negs. And Kate and Fluffy as well, and uh, many others. Kim, who was in here earlier. Um, oh, geez, no way. You don't want to go into one of those places. No, I don't. No, I don't. Trust me. I'm trying to do everything I can to avoid that. So I'm trying to keep a safe environment. So this is what I was saying when I was saying, or when I mentioned earlier, my FTD has taken some kind of turn. Uh, that's one of the things that's been happening. There have been more kitchen incidents. There have been more kitchen accidents and uh, food, you know, so keeping myself fed is becoming a problem. And so my anxiety levels, it's like my anxiety levels over my finances, you know, uh, which are really shitty at the moment, really and truly crappy at the moment. You know, it's the vicious circle, you know, pay the bills, pay off the bare minimum off the credit cards you know, and then some, and then you pay another chunk off the credit cards only to have to use them again. And it, 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 it keeps going on and on and on. And it's driving me nuts. And I would like a break in this, you know, and like I said, I still want to buy my video editor. <laughs> you know, I'd like to buy a video editor. I'd like to do my uploads. I'd like to do fancier stuff for, I'd like to do fancier visuals for my Patreon, you know, for my Patreon, my Patreon, uh, you know, the three patrons I have, they deserve quality content. And that's what I intend to give them. And I'm always afraid that I'm not living up to that. I'm always these days afraid living up to, you know, this my channel, you know, my channel has grown exponentially since the end of November. It's, you know, it, it, it subs. Hey, Lily, that's, that's okay, Lily. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just venting here, you know, I'm hoping it'll help me process some through some stuff. You know, <laughs> I could ramble and talk to myself in the apartment and I've done that. And I, Lord knows I've done that, but I don't know. You know, it's like the deep black hole that never ends. Yeah, exactly. Fluffy. Ex uh, yeah. Fluffy. You're right. Um, fluffy. You're right. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> now what, what now where was I that's the other thing that's been happening I go into this verbal thing and I have my mind the tunnel vision of the verbal thing and I go off and then I forget what I was saying that's been happening more and more a lot I've been having more word loss a lot or saying the wrong word um you know saying the wrong word but you have been an inspiration to us all even if it doesn't mean that much no, it means a lot to me. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be inspirational, um, but if I had helped anybody uh, in the live chat or anybody else watching out there, if I help one person, I'm happy about that. I am really ecstatic. I know it doesn't seem like that right now. I know it doesn't seem like that right now because I'm not in a good place right now, but you are all appreciated. You know, you are all appreciated in your own way. You have all been great for my, you know, for me and my channel. And you have become friends, even though I've never met most of you in person anyway. But, you know, I appreciate every uh, each and every one of you, not just my patrons, but everybody. People in my Discord server, for instance, uh, anybody who subscribes to my channel or somebody who drops by my live streams to watch me vent, you know, I appreciate everything. And I'm glad you have YouTube and Discord as an outlet. Thank you. And I'm glad too, Lily. And I'm, and I'm glad you're... And I'm happy you're a member. You're all members of my Discord, I believe, or most of you are. That's been happening to me, too. I don't know if it's because of mental stress I'm under. My mentor, my memory has been so bad. Yeah, I hear you, Kate. Yeah, and that happens when you suffer from anxiety. I mean, I have FTD and anxiety. I have generalized anxiety disorder as well. Yeah, I am one lucky chick. Um but yeah, I know I hear you. It's um, no, I hear you. And like I said, Kate, if you want to talk to me later on Discord, I'd be happy to listen to you. 
I really would. Because, you know, in moments like this, we all, and I say this often in my streams, you know, we all need somebody to turn to, right? Yes. Uh, folks, even though this is a venting stream and not the happiest stream, um, could you please give it a like? Could you please give it a thumbs up? Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah. Please, can you please give it a thumbs up anyway? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's engagement. Or give it a thumbs down even. It's all engagement. You know, it's all engagement. But, yeah. Same here. And going through the crisis with family has helped me being forgetful too. Being on Discord has been more than supportive than any support app I've ever been on. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Lily. I, I am really glad to hear that. You know, I mean, I think I like to I like to think that my Discord server, you know, because like I hear people and you see people on Twitter, and Twitter has its toxicity in and of itself. I mean, it's not for nothing. There's a lot of people who call it shitter, but you see people on Twitter saying how toxic Discord can be, and I, with my server. You know, with my server, um, I'd like to show that Discord does not have to be a toxic place, that it can actually be a safe place to vent. could be a fun place to, you know, a fun place to, you know, for like topics, conversation, just kid around, hang, hang out online, so to speak. You know, I would like to, you know, and I'm a member of other Discord servers that are positive. Like according to Jexy, who talk, you know, she has a YouTube channel where she talks about recovery from addiction. You know, she talks about it, uh, you know, and she has her own discord server. Uh, I've met a lot of wonderful people from Neg from Neg's discord server. I've met a lot of wonderful people from there um, as well as, uh, as well as many fun folks from the, uh, from Irie Alex's discord server. You know, so I appreciate every each and every one of you, you know, um, even though Discord is kind of hard to figure out and Neg's Discord has some drama and mod and people getting banned. I don't know much about the drama and the mod going on there. Therefore, and I, therefore I'm not go I'm not going to address it because I have no idea, honestly, and I don't it's not my server. Uh, it's, you know, I'm a guest at like when I come and post on a server, I'm a guest. So it's not my position to talk about that. And I don't know anything about that. So I, you know, yeah. Lisa, Lisa, oh, I'm glad to see you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thank you for stopping by, Lisa. Oh, great. I have two mods in here now. Yeah, I'm glad I have a couple of mods here because tonight is one of those streams where I'm trying to process a lot, a lot of stuff more than I can handle at this time. So let's just say I have... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about I, I I don't want to talk about drama tonight. <laughs> I have enough of my own freaking personal drama right now. I don't want to talk about drama, and I definitely don't want any trolls. You know, I definitely don't want any trolls. <laughs> you know, but right now everybody's but everybody's fine. I'm uh, everybody's a friend here. Thank goodness. Oh, Lisa, I wish I was. I honestly wish I was. I'm not. I, uh, I'm going to leave the live stream up as I always do. So Lisa, if you want to catch up on it, if you want to catch up on uh, what I've said so far, I'm going to have the stream so you can catch it if you wish, should you do it, should you so desire to do so. But yeah, it's like too much going on at once with my health and with my finances and with the attempted fraud scam I am tr uh, that happened that I'm still reeling from. And the expenses that the unexpected expenses that required my attention were regarding that. Um, yeah. And yeah. And I just mentioned, I have a rabid pregnant squirrel living in my window <laughs> that I don't know how to get rid of. I don't know how to get rid of. <laughs> yeah. Joe. Hi. Thank you. Hugs to you too, Joe. Thank you. Good to see you. Oh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate you because I'm sure it's the middle of the night where you are, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know, Fluffy. I know. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, when they say it rains, it pours, or when the shit hits the fan, it really hits the fan. It all happens all at once. And that's basically what's been happening around here. It's to the point. Like I have so much to do and I know I have to take care of certain issues 
And right now, like even right now, what overwhelms me, a simple call to the hospital uh, to get a, a get an appointment for uh, a new brain scan because my doctor wants now an updated uh, scan on my brain, uh, given the um, progression of the FTD that I've been going through lately, the problems with my memory incidents, like kitchen fires <laughs> and wrecking all my pots and pans. But yeah, so even calling the hospital to set up an appointment is becoming an overwhelming thing, you know? And I'm just, you know, I just have to call for an appointment to get a scan done, to get a CT scan done on my, a specialized CT scan done on my brain. Um, like to, earlier tonight, trying to decide how to deal with dinner after having not eaten all day, trying to decide how to deal with dinner, that was overwhelming. So the longer that was overwhelming, the more hungry I was getting because I wasn't doing anything about feeding myself, you know? Uh, <laughs> You can have an animal take to look at as well. Maybe that's, yeah, I, you know, I like, you know, I like animals. I just don't like squirrels. I just don't like squirrels, especially when they're rabid. Uh, and I'm convinced that this squirrel is rabid given the behavior it displayed after I tapped on the window. Uh, yeah, 3.45 a.m., wow, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I hear you with the insomnia. I'm usually up at that hour too, you know. Uh, that's okay, Lisa. That's okay. We all have our crosses to bear, right? <laughs> we all have our crosses to bear. <laughs> Do you have an advocate that can look in on your behalf for when you're on a down day? Uh, yes and no. I know that's a bad answer, yes and no. I do have someone I used to work with when I used to work as a secretary for a social service agency, I am friends with a retired, one of the retired social workers who has been acting as a de facto social worker for me. She's not officially my social worker. She's retired from the business, but she's kind of my de facto social worker. And that's another thing I keep putting off and I keep forgetting to get done. I had already talked to somebody about commissioner of O's. I've got to get paperwork. Uh, power of attorney paperwork set up uh, for her. And I keep putting that off and I keep putting that off and I got to get power of attorney paperwork set up for her. Oh yeah. Only got up to pee and now I can't sleep. You know how that happens? Was it foaming? No, but it's just the way it behaved when I tapped at the window. Like it was like, it was, I know it's small and all that, but it was like, it had a thud and it looked straight at me with the teeth. Like it was trying to get through the glass. Usually when you tap on a, a squirrel is at the window and you tap on the glass, it scurries away, okay? Because it's afraid of people. It's afraid of things like that. It will scurry away. But that thing was trying to aggressively hit the glass of my window. I know it sounds like something out of a horror, of a B, of a B movie, <sighs> even a C movie, you know? <laughs> you think she acted that way because she's pregnant? So she's in labor or in heat. I don't know, but that nest has been fluffed up big time all day. That nest that she had been building, uh, it had been fluffed up. And now she's covered up like she's covered herself completely in the nest the last time I took a look. It's worth getting an advocate. may relieve a little stress. Yeah, you're right, Joe. And nowadays, unfortunately, I have, <laughs> God, as I mentioned earlier, I am having serious trust issues lately. Oh boy, when you trust your internet friends more than people in your re in your real life, your IRL people, you know, uh, you know. But yeah, yeah, you, you, sounds like it's ready to give birth anytime. I you might I, I think you're right, Kate. Every every bit of my instincts is telling me just that that it is um about to give birth at any time. Honestly, it is about to give birth at any time. Uh, Lisa. Do you know anything about squirrels, Lisa? I'm sure they, uh, do you know anything about squirrels, Lisa? I know the reason I'm asking Lisa, I don't uh, asking Lisa because I think she lives in a rural area if I'm not mistaken. If I'm wrong about that, Lisa, uh, feel free to correct me. Yeah, if Lisa is still in the house. Yeah, if Lisa is still in the house, feel free to correct me. 
Uh, so yeah, it's become, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. That was dizzying just now. Okay. Yeah. Once again. Um, yeah. So that's basically it, The you know, and so my projects that I wanted to have done upcoming videos, it's gotten to a point where I have new topic videos. Oh, okay. I asked you if you knew anything about squirrels. I don't know if you heard me mention I have a squirrel living between um, my window, like in my, the two window panes. She's pregnant because she's made herself a nest right there. And now she's buried in it. And I think she might be rabid. Now I know obviously keep my kitchen window closed. I have left messages with the SPCA, but I still have this pet in my window. <laughs> um, well, no, not the SPCA is the best I can come up with, Joe, which is the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. I don't know what the equivalent would be in the UK, in the UK, but yeah, it's, um, it's where they usually pick up, it's usually an organization that picks up stray animals, except I don't know if they pick up animals that are typically feral. That's the thing. I don't know. Yeah. So that's the, so that's what I was asking Lisa. I, Cause I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you live in a rural area. So you probably, I don't know if you get a lot of squirrels where you are. Yeah. Uh, the, the police, you mean? No. RSPCA, it's the same where you are, eh? Yeah, Joe, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know much about squirrels, but I think it's supposed to be pretty rare for a squirrel to get rabies. Oh, not here, they ain't. Oh, not here in the city. Not here in the city. That's why we usually stay away from them, you know? It's like, but I, I, I really seriously, I know she's pregnant because that nest that she's made for herself is all fluffed up and more fluffed up and more fluffed up. And now the last time I checked the window, she was buried in it, you know? No, and she doesn't have fish and wildlife. No, I don't have fish and wildlife because I live in a city. I live in a major urban center. I live in a city of two, of a population of 2 million. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, I have lots of squirrels. Just don't know much about them. That's, that's okay. I thought I'd ask anyway, Lisa, but I appreciate your, uh, I appreciate your answer. I appreciate you. Yeah. Squirrels are pretty defensive animals, to be honest. Yeah, I suppose. It's just in my past, you know, when they would come to the window, I would usually tap on the window and they would scurry off like right away. They would run away right. Uh, not this one. <laughs> not this one. Oh, that's okay, Lisa. I'm only asking. I'm only asking. That's okay. Lisa, I still appreciate you. You know that. I still appreciate you, Lisa. You know that. Yes, those of you, I know that's not the happiest stream, but if you like the stream or please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah. Are squirrels herbivores? I think, so. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure about that. They do eat, they eat pretty much anything they find, I think. At least here in the city, they do. They, 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 they feed on anything they can find. Yeah, uh, I don't. That would require me to open the window, Joe. I can't do that because she's going to jump into my kitchen. Okay, because it's like right above the kitchen sink where I watch. The window is right above the kitchen sink where I wash dishes. And I'm really not fond of the idea of a squirrel jumping in and landing in my kitchen sink. I'm not wild about that idea. Yeah. Nuts and berries, yeah. Yeah. And I also kind of don't, and I kind of want this squirrel to go away. I don't want it to stay here. I kind of want it to go away. It's like every time I go into the kitchen, you know, um, like I go uh, wash a plate, you know, like I've eaten something and I want to go wash a plate. And that's the first thing I see, you know, I head straight to the sink. And that's the first thing I see is that squirrel. And that nest, that makeshift nest that she made, you know. Okay, yes. Have a great night. Thank you for stopping by.
And thanks. And I'm going to be sending good vibes your way too, Kay. And remember, if you want to chat with me on Discord, uh, uh, on Discord, feel free to do so, please. Please say thank you. Thank you, Lily. Okay, I'm just going to put the, for those who have not yet joined, I'm just going to put the link to my Discord server again. Okay, I'm just going to put the link to my Discord server once again. Uh, for those who have not yet joined. Okay, feel free to share it if you feel, if any of you think that uh, there's anybody out there that, think that might be a good fit for our server who might be a good fit by all means share it's not like no I'm not running a secret society <laughs> I'm not running any secret society so if there's anybody you think that might benefit or might be a good fit by all means uh, share share the link to the server yes yes and also yeah thanks for streaming it was a good event thank you so much for coming Kate I appreciate that fluffy Good night, Kate. Have a good night. Send a message if you want to chat tomorrow, wherever we will. I've got to go to bed. I'll finish watching later. Everyone have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by, Lisa. I appreciate you. You have a good you have a good night's sleep. Uh, you have a good night's sleep, Lisa. Thank you for stopping by. So right now we have <laughs> everybody's going to sleep now. Huh? I don't think uh, sleep is going to come to me that soon. Yeah, I don't think sleep is going to come to me that soon at all, you know? Um, so, yeah. So that's basically it, you know? The loss of my best friend, the overwhelming nature of trying to protect myself from the attempted fraud that I had, the worries I have about potential targets, the squirrel, the unwanted pet in my window, the ongoing financial stressors, the ongoing, and the FTD having difficulty with that too, which is why I'm going to be having an advanced brain scan soon because they want to see how much volume, how much volume and what kind of, and at what rate am I losing volume in my frontal and temporal lobes? Yeah. I still, I'll still be up to keep you company. Oh, thank you, Fluffy. I'll probably take you up on that. I'm likely to take you up on that, Fluffy. Yeah. I never sleep except in the morning. Yeah, Lily, I hear you. And mornings for me, I don't know if anybody noticed that I've been looking back at some of my lives that I've done early in the morning. I would do an early morning live stream because I don't know what else to do and I can't sleep and I'm bored. But I have noticed more times than not lately that I tend to be losing my words, losing my train of thought. I mean, I do that at any time of day, but I mean more so in the morning. I It almost looks like I'm starting a sundown, you know? For those who don't know what sundowning is, that's a trait in Alzheimer's patient, Alzheimer's and dementia patients. And usually it happens after supper hour, the after supper hour in the evening, hence the term sundowning, um, you know, where the where cognitive functions start to decline for the rest of the day. You know, but in my case, because my sleeping patterns are all over the place and I usually am up at night and I, morning is my like my evening, I send down in the morning, but I've noticed that's been happening. So I'm doing way fewer early morning live streams. Like I'm talking about the 6 or 7 a.m. live streams, you know. I have anxiety to the point where I have headaches kind of. Yeah, I suffer from migraines too, Lily, which I've been having a lot of lately, you know, I've been suffering a lot from migraines a lot lately too, myself, right? Um, hang on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. But yeah, exactly. It's, um, no, it's like every, things are not a lot of, I'm losing my train of thought again. You know, hang on a minute. Uh, let me check. I do have some notes. You know, it's, I don't know. I'm also trying to seek justice, you know, and it's not forthcoming either, you know. So, uh, so that's been difficult too, seeking justice. And yeah, because of expenses and stuff. And now I'm all over the map. Yeah, I'm all over the map. 
Uh, my grandma drama meme project, <laughs> for instance, my grandma drama meme project. Oh boy. Hang on. I have a, yeah. So anyways, I am First stopping. Yeah. Type a little typing ASMR now. Hang on. Just typing. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, all right. No problem. I'll be around to keep you company. Just make sure you reach out on discord or wherever. Just let me know. Absolutely fluffy. Uh, yeah, absolutely fluffy. Uh, and I will definitely let you know, and I really appreciate you because I know, uh, time, uh, times are, uh, difficult for you too nowadays. So I appreciate you. Thank you. So yeah, it's, uh, so yeah, so now the Grandma Drama Mean Project, the second channel, that's being postponed. That's being postponed yet again because, A, because of the uh, initial expenses to get that started. Um, and that's the other thing that's overwhelming, you know. I have skills as a graphic artist. I have been trained as a graphic artist at a desktop publishing, uh, got certification, oh God, almost 20 years ago. Um, I haven't really kept up with modern trends, of course. Uh, back in those days when I was getting certification, it was near the end of using film, but that's another story for another time. And it's like, I have a lot of work to do, like a new channel banner for a channel uh, art banner for great grandma drama me. I'd like to have a logo for straight talking for Tora chick as well. And uh, a logo for grandma, uh, for the grandma drama mean channel. And it's like, oh my God. And then trying to create thumbnails, you know, like all the YouTube girls, they say, you got to spend time on your thumbnails. You got to create eye catching thumbnails. So that's stressing me out too. That makes me anxious, you know. And if I had the money, which I don't, but if I had the money, I would seriously consider hiring a graphic artist to help me with all this. It would take the stress of figuring out my ideas or trying to, or if I do have an idea to execute it, to actually execute it and see what it looks like on screen, right? Uh, or potentially on a t-shirt. Yes, I've always wanted to design t-shirt graphics. I've always wanted to design t-shirt graphics. So I always told myself, if my channel, Straight Talk and Fedora Chick, gets to the thousand subscribers, uh, which is the threshold for monetization on YouTube, although knowing YouTube and my luck, the way it's going, YouTube will probably up the threshold again. Um, but I always said, if I got above a thousand subscribers, I would like to, you know, I would like to, you know, have merch out, you know, because I've always wanted to design t-shirt graphics and I've always had ideas for fun graphics, but they're, that's just it. They're ideas. They're trapped in my head and I can't seem to execute them, especially lately. And plus my fine motor skills are declining. So holding steady, you know, holding my hand steady on a mouse is also problematic these days. Yeah. You see, um, the, uh, yeah, I am a hot mess right now. I am quite the hot mess right now, really. Oh, God. I am the hot mess. Oh, yes. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, I'll be right with you. Hang on a second. Just checking them as a fluffy. I appreciate you as well, my friend. If it wasn't for your channel, to be able to get away, I too, I don't know where it'd be turning lately, but I love and try to support all the different friends I've made here. I'm glad you, I'm glad you, you enjoy my channel, Fluffy. I'm glad, and you're, you know, and I'm glad you're a member of my Discord. I'm glad you're a member of my community too. You know, in my Discord and my YouTube community. I'm very happy. I'm grateful for all of you, honestly. I know it may not seem like it tonight. So, you know, I'm venting and trying to process everything that's been going on. Ah, uh, and now I'm starting to get pain in my right side. God, and I ate a healthy, low, I ate a lower fat dinner tonight. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Here the best I can. That's all we can do, Fluffy, is the best we can. It's this societal demand that says, 
You gotta be the best. You gotta win the rat race. You gotta be the best. Well, fuck that. Whatever happened, just do the best you can. So, you know, a lot of us struggle more than others. So sometimes our best, you know, expectations a little lower or a little more realistic is more the choice of words I would say, you know, uh, a little more realistic, right? We feel that we're grateful to you. Well, I'm grateful to all of you too. I'm grateful to all of you too. Yes. We have a mutual admiration society. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, I mean, I created that discord server with Ray Phoenix, uh, who is another one of my mods who was in here earlier um, Wraith Phoenix and I created this, the Discord server just a few days before Christmas. Wraith was handling all the tech because I had no idea how to handle the tech of building a server. So Wraith Phoenix handled all the tech. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, and, uh, yeah. Now we're about 40 members strong. We're about 40 members strong. And so that's not bad for a month and a half in, you know, we're about a month and a half in uh, at, at Discord. So anyways, like I said, feel free to join if you haven't already. And if you know somebody who would, might be a good fit or would benefit from our server, by all means, send them an invite. Like I said, we're, it's public. The links are public. Uh, we're not a secret society. Um, yeah, we're not a secret society. But I think the worst is happening is the betrayal of trust. And I think that's the worst that is happening. Uh, the loss of my former best friend. Yeah. And ironically, he'd be the first person I'd be going to in the past. But now that's not possible. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm just a hot mess, aren't I? Okay, I'm losing my train of thought again. Um, I'm losing my train of thought again. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Oh, somebody's Twitter just got hacked into. Somebody's Twitter just got hacked into. Oh, God. What is wrong with people? Yeah, what is wrong with people? Honestly, what is wrong with people? Oh, gosh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Hang on. We feel uh, I know how to build and manage Discord servers. So if she ever needs help, or you can let me know, hun. You can come to me, dear. You know what, Fluffy? You know, you know something about the tech, uh, the technology side of Discord, Fluffy. I'm uh, yeah. I have something else to chat with you about in, uh, in the Discord server. If you can handle tech, I have something else to. to I have something else to ask you. Remind me of that. Remind me. Don't worry. It's all good. Um, remind me of that, Fluffy. Yeah. If you, yeah. Remind me of that. Because I, I actually, we might need. Because actually, yeah. I'll talk to you about it in private. Okay, on Discord later. Yeah. I'll talk to you about that later on Discord. Okay, cool. Okay, remind me of that. Yeah, so now this is where I turn it over to you because I'm going to jump off in a few minutes. I think I've said everything that needs to be said. And if I forget, I may well do an insomniac rambling later on during the wee hours. But I definitely, yes, uh, Fluffy, I will be chatting with you shortly after I jump off the stream uh, in Discord. Yeah, that's appreciated. Okay. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, before we, we're, uh, okay, uh, here comes the obnoxious e-begging portion of the show again. 
Uh, for those who wish to support the channel, you may do so. I have a Patreon and I have PayPal. The links are in the chat and also in the description box. And once again, I'd like to give shout outs. Uh, they're not here now, but I'd like to give shout outs to my three patrons, S at Journey to Find K and Kim Leeper, who was in earlier. I'd like to give shout outs to them. Um, yes. And yes, I will try to have that, uh, that monthly upload on the Patreon at some point during the wee hours. That's it. I'm not going to do an, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do, I got to get that. Uh, I got, I promised, I made a promise. I got, you know, my patrons are important to me and I need to deliver. Yeah. I have, I really have to deliver. And I want to deliver great content. And that's another source of my stress, like I mentioned earlier, providing decent content. And usually in the past, you know, not a, you know, even with a growing channel, not always a good idea, idea. And I've done controversial and contrarian videos, you know, commentary videos. And I likely will continue to do so, you know. And I have ideas for contrarian style, controversial style videos. It's gotten to the point where my anxiety levels are so high. I'm afraid to do them. <laughs> I'm afraid to do them. And I got to stop doing that. I used to be a political blogger for, and I keep telling myself as a motivational speech, I tell myself, you used to be a political blogger. You can do this. You could do this. Political blogger was a good boot camp for YouTube commentary and story time, you know? <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> and yeah, it becomes troublesome. Oh, wow. So, anybody else? Um, so, if you have any questions right now, or if you have any questions, if you have any questions right now, um, yeah, if you have any questions right now, or if you have any comments um, before I jump off the stream, please let me know. Please let me know. I'm going to getting off the stream because right now I've got pain in my side and my uh, under my rib cage again, and it's also making things a lot more difficult to focus on. No. Okay. Well, if something comes to you later, or if you have video topic suggestions uh, for me to 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 do, or you want me to talk about. Please, once again, uh, my Discord server has a room to suggest uh, YouTube topics. So feel free to post your topics there or in the comments section below this uh, video, but below the stream before you go. Um, please give a thumbs up on the way out the door if you haven't already. Uh, or, you know, or give it a thumbs down. It's all engagement. If you haven't already subscribed, I want to thank again my all my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider subscribing. I will try to do better thought out uh, live streams and videos. <laughs> I try, I try, okay? <laughs> I never promised a perfectly sane host. I never promised an, I never promised an, oh God, I'm getting dizzy now. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm getting dizzy now. Okay, this, that means I've got to get off this stream now and take care of a few little matters. And Fluffy, I will, uh, I will be, uh, be, I will meet you in Discord uh, very. I'll make you in Discord in the next half hour or so. Okay. Um, yeah, as soon as I take care of certain things. So yeah, um, if you have any, I already, I already covered that. Take care of yourselves and each other. And remember always, if there is somebody in your midst who is in trouble or who is vulnerable or was at risk or just alone in the world, please go check in on them. Go check in on them. Share a meal, share a coffee, get to know them. Lend a sympathetic ear. It can make all the difference in the world. We are not asking to be fixed. We are just asking to be heard, to be validated, to be vindicated for justice, which has, like I said, eluded me most of my life, which I hope to get soon. But anyways, that's neither here nor there for right now. 
Uh, there are videos uh, that I did in the past linked in a pinned comment below that provide some context to the stuff I've been talking about, uh, with the exception of the frontotemporal dementia videos. But I will link, I will add links to those in the pinned comment below as well. Uh, so please, thank you all for stopping by, and thank you all for sticking around. Thank you so much, and uh, I will catch you all in the next one soon. So everybody have a good evening or I'll catch you later in Discord. Okay, straight talking fedora chick over and out.